How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're looking for a good Firefox VPN extension, then you're looking at some of the best VPNs we've got here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full-on reviews if you'd like to know the ins and outs of these VPNs in terms of privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So be sure to keep that in mind if you guys are interested. Now, I'm going to show you guys here on my Chrome because, well, it's the same thing, really. It's the same uh, features. It's the same interface with Chrome and Firefox, so it really doesn't make a difference. And since I have them all installed on my Chrome, I might as well just show it to you guys here. I don't really use Firefox, but as you can tell, it is very clear that they uh, do announce that it is available on Firefox. Uh, uh, the you know all these VPNs, Surfshark, Nord, and uh, ExpressVPN, and this is really what they look like. Now, me personally, when it comes to using VPNs, now if, if for whatever reason, let's say you are not able to download the application itself, because if you're getting a subscription, you might as well just download the application and uh, make use of the uh, entire application. You know with the full features, you've got uh, all the uh, protocols and, you know, the kill switch and split tunneling. I see it as a more effective way of uh, using the VPN rather than just using the uh, extension. But if for whatever reason you're not able to use the application or download it, then, you know, you've got plenty of features here, or, excuse me, plenty of servers with these VPNs. And uh, especially if you're just trying to, let's say, uh, unblock streaming services such as Netflix and such, and you don't really care about securing your entire connection. This is definitely something that you can do by just using the uh, Fi Firefox extensions or Chrome extensions for that matter. And with regards to features, don't really expect too much uh, besides, you know, uh, just the regular uh, access to the servers, as well as just some web RTCP blocking and such. Uh, so nothing more besides that. Now, with regards to, um, let's say, the streaming capabilities, if that's what you're looking for, you've got ExpressVPN. And with reference to uh, using Netflix as a reference, you'll be able to unblock over 18 or up to 18 libraries, uh, Netflix libraries with ExpressVPN. That'll be 10 with Nord and 15 with Surfshark. You've got uh, 94 countries covering 94 countries with ExpressVPN uh, and over 3,000 servers. And with regards to Nord, you've got over uh, 5,200 servers uh, in 60 countries. And with a Surfshark, you've got over 3,200 servers uh, in 65 countries. So, uh, yeah, very good stuff here overall. These VPNs are uh, really just one of some of the most secure and reliable VPNs. And as I said, uh, especially when it comes to Netflix and streaming services, these are very reliable. Uh, VPNs. But then again, you know, my personal recommendation would that would be that if you're going to use the Firefox extension, I would definitely recommend using the, well, full application, you'll be getting the uh, full package here, really, I mean, you're paying for it anyways. So you might as well use the full application. So that'll be it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full on reviews if you'd like to know the ins and outs, including advantages and disadvantages of these VPNs. So be sure to keep an eye on, a, on that if you guys are interested. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.